Hi, I'm JD and welcome back to my channel. Today I am talking about how I plan my weeks. Now I know last week I mentioned that I would be filming my writing retreat vlog today and yeah, no. My writing retreat was a bit of a flop and there was a lot of things going on and I've tried to film that vlog like four times now and it's just not happening. I'm not entirely sure how to go about filming that or even talking about it really if I need to. I don't know. It did not go as planned. I got some work done but not nearly as much as I was hoping to due to some health stuff. So today I thought I would talk to you about how I plan my week and everything I do on the weekend to get ready for the week. So a couple of things I do on the weekend to get ready for the week. The big thing is on either Saturday or Sunday, one day of the week, I usually choose a day to do all the laundry. So I go and grab all our towels and sheets and the kids clothes and our clothes. I just do all the laundry on the weekend. And so that I just keep that going, I put it away. I do that because that way I don't have to worry about it over the week. When I try to piece it out, I used to try and do like one load a day, but I always ended up forgetting something either in the washer or the dryer and it just never, never happened. Um, trying to get it, getting it all done on the weekend and getting it put away and you know, making sure the kids have enough clothes to get through a week is very helpful. I will occasionally do like emergency loads during the week if something gets really dirty or it'll stain, I will go ahead and throw it in, but those are the odd exceptions. Also on the weekend, I do all my meal planning and grocery shopping. So last night after dinner, I went through and I made a meal plan of what we're gonna eat for this coming week. Uh, then I made a grocery list. My goal today was to get out to the grocery store, but I'm just <laughs> not feeling great. And there's a million other one things I need to do at home. So I ended up ordering my groceries through a website service. It's awesome. You know, I log in, uh, usually for, usually for my weekly groceries, uh, there's no extra fee. Um, so the delivery is free. I just have to tip my driver. So it, for days like this, it's helpful for times when I'm not feeling well or the, one of the kids is sick and I can't get out to the store. Having, being able to order something to the house is very helpful, especially when I can order it from a grocery store or CVS or whatever. Another thing I do on the weekends, let's see. Uh, I try to pick up and clean up as much as I can. I got a little bit of footage of me cleaning my desk and uh, it's also the first of the month, so I changed out my uh, I changed out my five rings, which I think I have a little bit of footage to show you of that too. Big thing I do is calendar blocking on my Google Calendar and kind of going through my Kanban board and moving stuff down that I know want to try and get done during the week. So let's move on to Google Calendars and I will show you how I do that. All right, so here we are in my Google Calendar and I'm just gonna go through and show you guys kind of what my general process is. I have some reoccurring events in my calendar and that's my morning routine and my evening routine. They're just already blocked off and they're there. Um, most days I get to them. I don't always get to them, but it's there on my calendar. I also have all my normal kid activities. We have dance class and martial arts. We have uh, speech therapy. We have occupational therapy. We have play therapy, um, all the crazy stuff. And then of course I have all my normal appointments for physical therapy, um, and some other things out of the norm this week. I have a appointment with my own therapist and I have a dentist appointment for my daughter. And we also have my son's seventh birthday party on Saturday. So it's kind of a little crazy. 
I also have a school tour on Wednesday for my son. So, but now that I have everything laid out, I can start putting together and adding things in um, around all these other appointments that I have to do and schedule for. So the, one of the first things I like to go in and do is add time for self-care. And that's where all these little SC uh, appointments are coming from. I add them to my calendar and then I color code them pink or I think it's flamingo. Um, and I just try to add things in for when I know I am going to be, have some downtime. So like while I'm waiting in the waiting room for my daughter's speech therapy or my son's OT kind of stuff. That's one of the easiest times I can add in some self-care where I'm either reading for fun or I'm scrolling or I take a minute to message a friend um, and do stuff like that. I'll also go through and add some um, game time and maybe some movie time as well later on and maybe add that to my evening routine as well. Uh, next, I try to go in and add in some writing time. This is a little harder because writing for me, uh, I need to have time to either sit down at a Starbucks. I don't really like writing in my car so much. Sometimes I can voice dictate and that's great for when I'm in that first draft stage. But right now I'm kind of in the middle of a draft. So um, I need to find time where I can sit down at a Starbucks or a Panera or something. And so that's what I'm doing here. I'm going through and adding, blocking off some time that when I know I have some time that I can sit at a Starbucks or somewhere to do some writing. Um, there's a Starbucks right near my therapist office. There's a Starbucks near, um, between my physical therapy and the kids school before I pick up my daughter. So I can go in and add that there. And I add that to a special writing calendar. So it's not confusing to others who have access to my uh, appointment calendar. So between 7am and 9am, I usually keep that free on my calendar, because that's when I'm helping the kids getting ready for school and I'm getting ready for the day. Um, and then also in the evenings, we tend to eat dinner between five and six. And so I'm actually going through and adding in all my meal, my meal plan, uh, just so I don't forget it. And it's on the calendar, uh, makes it a little easy so I can pull it up. And then I, between six and 8 PM, unless there is another appointment, like my son's OT appointment kind of lot overlaps that time. But generally, that's just our free time. Um, you know, time we spend hanging out with the kids. We might watch a TV show, like How It's Made. Or we go on YouTube and we watch The Tim Tracker. It's usually just fun family time. Um, sometimes it's not so much TV or screen time during the week. But um, we usually just kind of take it easy and play and then... Uh, about seven o'clock is when we start getting the kids ready for bed. Um, and they're usually in bed by eight. Um, so my daughter is three and a half and she doesn't nap anymore too much. Like occasionally she'll nap, but for the most part she doesn't. And I'm okay with that because that means she's usually the first one to sleep <laughs> and she just passes right out right about seven, eight, uh, 7 PM, which is kind of nice. Um, so we do that, um, and so Friday, I don't have a, I didn't put it on the right calendar, but uh, Friday, I haven't determined what we're going to do for dinner yet. I'm not sure. We might have some family coming in for um, my son's birthday, so I don't know if they're going to be here or if we're going to go out or order in. It may just be a pizza night. And of course, uh, my son is a big sushi fan, so we will be going out to dinner and having sushi for his birthday. Okay, so I've got all my dinners put in. So this is just where I kind of go and I start just playing puzzle piece and trying to figure out, I, I try to keep in mind what I need to do during the week 
and what I want to accomplish. And then I just try to puzzle piece it into my calendar. Um, and as things change throughout the week, I move things and adjust things as I need to. Um, I think here I'm going to add another writing time in because I'm realizing very quickly that I'm not going to get a lot of writing time this week. Um, and that 250 is actually going to be my uh, goal, my word count goal for that session. Um, it's not a long session by the time I get, because I drop my daughter off right at dance class starts right at 115. So by the time I get settled, get a chance to kind of immerse myself into the story, do a sprint, it'll be time for me to pack up and head to back to the class to pick her up. Um, so yeah, it's not a lot of time for in these little short, uh, uh, 45 minute increments, basically. Um, I also try to work in a chance to get some cleaning in. So, um, I think Thursday I might, I'm going to move this up a little bit, uh, and try and do that in the early afternoon because we do have some family coming in this weekend. Uh, and that's a reoccurring event. That's why that popped up there. So I'm just going to change that one. Uh, I also want a chance to clean the kids' playroom. And I want to have a chance to clean my my bedroom. So I'm going to add those in here. But, I mean, that that's just where it comes the calendar blocking comes in. It's nice because, you know, I'm going to try, I have it on my calendar so it doesn't get taken up. I color code them so that way I can easily see what I can, what I can move versus what I can't move. Um, I know if I see one of these gray, uh, events that, oh, it's just something that I'm going to do. And, but it, you know, it's not someone like I'm meeting someone like, my therapy appointment or a, a place that I have to be, uh, which is, you know, like physical therapy or something. Uh, and I tend to color code all the kids stuff orange just to keep it easy. Uh, they actually have their, their own calendar, uh, as well. So I can toggle that on and off. Um, these I've copied for copied over to my personal calendar for today's video. Cause I have all their names and stuff in them. Um, so, but one of the things I like to do is, you know, like pre-sort my laundry on Friday nights. So that way, first thing Saturday morning, I can start, uh, start a load of laundry. Um, but yeah, and you know, for like cleaning the kids' bed, uh, bathroom, I tend to like, I keep cleaning supplies there in the bathroom. So if I don't get to it, that afternoon, I can easily get to it next time my daughter's taking a bath and I need to be there in the bathroom with her. Um, that's usually another prime time for me to clean, uh, cause she likes to play in the bath for a while and, uh, which is nice. And I'm right there in the bathroom anyway, so I can easily, you know, wipe down the counters, you know, wash the mirrors down, um, you know, give the toilet a good clean kind of thing right there. Uh, the only thing that I don't get to do while they're in the bath is, you know, actually clean the bath, but, uh, that's not too bad to, to do at another time. And I almost forgot. I do have another thing I need to schedule in here. And that is actually my vlog for next week. I need time to script and film and do all that. And so I think this week that's just going to have to be what I do in the evenings. I was trying to avoid doing any work in the evenings, but oh, there's just not enough time in the day. Uh, and I'm just out so much that it, this just makes it super hard to get in time to film. So I'm going to try and do kind of break it into manageable chunks and just take it a little bit at a time and spread it out over the week. So I'll script my vlog on Monday. I will film on Tuesday and Wednesday. I think next week I'm planning on talking about, uh, my outlining process. So I may, uh, I will definitely need to 
split up the filming just so that way I can have a overhead view of some index cards and plotting notebooks and stuff that I have and then I will do a, another day of where I film uh, talking to the camera. So and then Thursday I'll edit and then at some point on Friday I will upload and do the description and in scenes and in cards and all that and schedule it from Monday. Uh, since we have um, family come in over the weekend, it's going to be hard to get any sort of work done. Um, sometimes I will leave my upload description scheduling until Sunday. Um, so, but this, uh, this is just going to be where it happens this week. Um, let's see. Other than that, I mean, this is pretty much the basics of my calendar blocking. Um, I realize that I don't need that pick up kid, my daughter at, uh, on Monday because I am going to, she's going to be with me. She's going to be out of school because of the dentist. Um, but, um, so I learned the calendar blocking method from Amy TV here on YouTube. I will link that video down below and I'll hit do a card info card as well. Uh, I really love her channel and I have found a lot of organization and scheduling hacks from her. I really love some of them don't always work for me because I have kids and I'm interrupted like every 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but, uh, the calendar blocking is very helpful, especially with between all my appointments and stuff. It just is helpful to try and fit in what I need to do and when, and being able to do it on Google calendar makes it a little easier to move things around versus doing it on a paper planner. Like I used to, um, cause I'd get halfway through the week and I'd have to rearrange my entire week because something, uh, an emergency came up or uh, I needed a, or there was a school meeting that I had to go to or something like that. And it would just, everything would fall apart and I'd have to like reprint out my pages and re it was just a mess. And so being able to rearrange things as I have to on Google calendar has just made it very helpful. I think I'm going to add one more thing here on Monday. I'm going to try and get some editing in on frostbite and I don't, I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to get done, but I'm going to try, um, since I'll have my daughter home with me that after that morning and afternoon, um, before I have to go get my son from school. Another thing I like to do just to make sure I have time is make sure I leave some time, a buffer time between appointments. Um, a lot of times I'm driving and so it's at least 20 to 40 minutes depending on where I'm going um, and heading back and forth. Um, I'm adding here a, a meeting with my husband just after going to the school. I think we'll have a, a little bit of time before we need to get my daughter from um, her class as well. But that is it pretty much for this week. Except I actually need to add one more thing. I need to take a moment to add some time to check in with my social media and maybe even... Um, schedule some posts, uh, to go ahead here and add that in. Um, I did finally release legacy of the necromancer that came out today. So yesterday for you guys. Um, so I have those links down below. If you are interested, it is a contemporary fantasy set partly in our world and partly in a kind of fantasy world. So but there we go. So that is all done. And now I'm just going to head back 
over to my combat board. Um, so I'm just pulling down the sticky notes that I know I'm going to be doing this week. I know I'm going to work on, okay, let's do it this way. Um, these are things I moved down this week, um, moved down for this week, stuff down here I was supposed to do last week and I'm still working on. So, um, my Will of the Witch, uh, chapter 10.2 I'm still working on. I haven't gotten very far with it, but I'm still working on that. Um, here I am still working on doing that and I am going to end up doing this one this week. Video, I'm still working on video number eight. Um, I will be doing video number nine come this week. Um, so um, I have not hit 350 subs yet. Uh, this actually went out so I can move that down. Yay. So that's done. Um, I'm working on this now and it will be done by the end of the day. So I'll move that done down when I'm done. But look, this one's almost done. I still have a couple. Those are just stats followers trying to hit. Those are stats. But otherwise, my goal two and goal three are looking pretty slim. I am still working on goal one, which is my writing goal. Um, I had wanted to get through, it looks like through to, um, the beginning of chapter 12 of the will of the witch. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, that's a whole bunch of accounting stuff I need to do and just admin stuff. Um, this is searching for the stars, which I've kind of put on hold until later on. I think I'm going to work on that next, um, next quarter. Um, because I've kind of hit my momentum with, um, with frostbite. And so I kind of want to finish that. And I've actually, I'm actually working on my, um, sequence eight at the moment, which is the last half of the last act of the book. I kind of want to get the ending done so I can know what I'm working towards. Um, and then I'll go back and work through the beginning of those. So, but there's that. Um, there's also, uh, I have a book I need to read. But other than that, that's pretty much it. My combat board. Let me back up a little bit. Sorry about the glare. I know it's bad. Um, but my combat board's actually looking pretty, pretty good for having one month left of the quarter. So we'll see what happens now. Anyway, that's how I plan my week. I really hope this was helpful. Um, and again, I'm sorry it wasn't what I had planned for this week. Life it's just life. So anywho, I hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead of you and I will see you next time. Peace, love, and happy writing y'all.